$1,400 stimulus check or $2,000 fourth stimulus check in 2022. These payments are proving to be very, very important according to recent reports. I have all the details for you in this video, so let's get into it right now. But if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video. Join the community as I am your one and only daily advocate, and I'm very much committed to you and this community as a whole to help you out in any way that I can, as well as keep you updated every single day with all of this information that is changing very rapidly right now. As I get it, the struggle is real as I see it down in the comment section every single day, and I truly want to do whatever I possibly can to help out the low income, fixed income, seniors, the elderly, people with disabilities, anybody out there that is struggling right now as there's programs, there's announcements, amendments, reform. There's so many things going on in Congress right now. We've got to watch it very closely because as soon as something comes out where there's money, benefits, programs, or anything else we can get our hands on, I'll be right here with all that information, laying it all out so that you can get your hands on anything during this difficult time. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and let's get right into the video. All right, so according to some recent reports, we're starting to see that stimulus checks offered way, way more support for the economy and struggling Americans than they were ever given credit for. In fact, another stimulus check in 2022 may be just what the economy and what people need right now, which obviously we know that because we continue to see it down in the comments section and we talk about it very regularly here on the channel. There are so many of you here in this community and millions of Americans right now, according to all the reports and all the numbers that we're seeing, that are struggling so incredibly badly right now and they need that one-time $1,400 stimulus check or a $2,000 fourth stimulus check. It's very, very important. Well, According to some recent reports and the data that we're starting to see come out right now, uh, based on 2021, all of these stimulus checks that went out offered incredible support in a massive, massive way. And without that amount of stimulus coming out this year in 2022, we could be in for a little surprise. Let's just say the surprise may not be very welcomed. So let's just say this much. As of right now, the economy is basically teetering on the edge of a massive, massive cliff. Well, with that being said, I want to run through some reports here that I've come up across lately and I want to lay this all out for you because this just proves how incredibly important stimulus checks are especially right now as Americans are just getting hammered with everything going on. In fact yesterday in one of my videos I laid out um, my gas bill that me my personal gas bill that I just received it went up by like a ton I honestly didn't even calculate the percentage but it went up a lot which I talked about in one of my videos yesterday this is happening to everybody right now not only that it's energy prices gas in our cars uh, energy electricity to heat our homes um, food at the grocery store I mean literally Every item that we can buy right now is going up so much that is literally prices are getting out of hand for the average American, especially those people living on a low fixed income, which we've talked about so many times. Let me quickly run through some information out of these reports here. And again, this is going to build the case even stronger for why additional stimulus checks are needed so badly right now. Now, here's the deal. We could talk about a one-time uh, stimulus check, whether it's $1,400 or $2,000, but realistically, even ongoing monthly payments, even if they were smaller, would be way more helpful than just a one-off payment. But here's the deal. Even a one-off payment would be incredibly helpful, but at the same time, monthly ongoing payments would really be what everybody needs right now, as well as not just the people, but the economy as a whole. Let's go through this and talk about it. According to a recent report, 22% of personal income, so basically all the income that was received into bank accounts and into the pockets of the American people, last year in 2021 was from federal benefits. Let me lay this out. Now, when, what do I mean by federal benefits? I mean everything under the umbrella of social security, unemployment benefits, child tax credit payments, and yes, of course, stimulus checks. Here's the deal. Check this out. In 2022, so far, what do we still have on the table right now? Well, yes, of course, federal benefits for social security are still going out. No change there. Nothing has changed. However, when it comes to stimulus checks, we have not received a stimulus check quite yet. Unemployment benefits have dramatically reduced because less people are drawing on them these days, and the child tax credit payments have completely stopped. 
Therefore, in 2021, 22% of the personal income came from all of these benefits combined, everything. However, here in 2022, what do we still have going on? Well, we have Social Security, that's still going on. Um, unemployment, yeah, some people are drawing on unemployment, but not that many, not nearly as many as last year. Stimulus checks, haven't happened yet. Child tax credit payments, haven't happened yet. So. This is hundreds of billions of dollars. In fact, between the stimulus checks and the child tax credit payments alone, just between those two, it's about a half a trillion dollars, about $500 billion that is not going into the economy or helping out struggling Americans this year yet because they haven't gone out yet. What's that gonna do to the economic activity in this country? <laughs> I think all of us can figure that one out, right? If 500 billion less dollars are flowing out into the economy, what does that mean for the economy? Well, yeah, I think all of us know the answer to that one, right? Not only that, what about all the unemployment benefits? Again, hundreds of billions of dollars. So yeah, you can see this uh, laid out very clearly here. So again, we're building the case on why a fourth stimulus check is needed so badly right now. Again, we don't need to build the case all that much. I think everybody in this, uh, in this community right here is pretty much in agreement. We're all on the same page when it comes to a fourth stimulus check or even monthly recurring payments. We all agree, hey, send us the money, get it out the door, get it into our bank accounts, hit my direct express card, do, do whatever you've got to do. But we need that money in our accounts, in our possession immediately with everything going on right now. So I don't need to sell you on that idea. Obviously, all of us are here on the same page. I'm right there with you. I believe like, hey, we've got to do something about this situation. Um, but with all this being said, to wrap this up really quickly, and then I'm gonna bring my wife in, Corey, and she's gonna read an article to you. It's only a couple minutes here, but I think this will wrap up all the loose ends on this topic here. And I think it's gonna build a pretty strong case for what's going on. But here's the deal. In 2020, uh, sorry, 2021, 22% of the personal income was from all these benefits. In 2022, we've only got Social Security, right? So these are the only benefits as of right now that are going out in addition to a little bit of unemployment benefits. If we extract all of that extra money that should have been going out into the, into the economy, we're basically putting ourselves into a precarious situation when it comes to the economy. Now again, does the do lawmakers and the administration and everybody like that, do they care about the people or do they care about the economy? Let's be real here. They care about the economy. Again, this is not me taking sides. This is simply the fact of the matter. They care about what is going on with the economy because ultimately that produces tax revenues, which ultimately cuts them a paycheck, right? Let's just be real with ourselves and talk about what is actually happening. So that's kind of the deal, right? So they have to watch the job market very, very closely. Well, we already know from yesterday's numbers that we're looking at a, a job number that's gonna come out tomorrow morning, by the way. And of course, I'll keep you posted on that because that's gonna be a big, big number. We're already posting in the negatives. This could potentially be the first loss of jobs since we've seen on a monthly basis since December of 2020. That's not gonna be a pretty scene. Let's just say that much, right? So tomorrow morning will be very pivotal when it comes to uh, this jobs report that's gonna come out. And we'll have to watch that closely because as I've said so many times, when it comes to stimulus, it's all wrapped around the job market. What is employment doing? What are the jobs doing? It's all coming down to that. So if we continue to see this job market kind of deteriorating at the rate that we're seeing it, again, this could be a catalyst for additional stimulus. So anyway, I could keep going on and on and on for a very long time right now talking about all the different reasons why stimulus is actually a very good thing right now because realistically without it we may be into a uh, kind of a tough situation this year going forward without additional money coming out for the people that are struggling so incredibly bad inflation ripping like crazy right now uh, uh, 40 year highs in inflation in fact next week we'll be getting the new inflation number for last month that's gonna be an interesting one as well. Remember, the last reading came in at 7%. Wow. Anyway, with that being said, let's bring my wife, Corey, and she's gonna read this article to you. Again, it's only a couple minutes here. I would highly advise, if you have a couple minutes, listen to this. It's very interesting, and it should wrap up any additional information that we have here about this. But the moral of the story is, stimulus checks are very much needed right now, very much on the table. And I think as uh, Congress continues to look at everything going on out there right now, they're also going to recognize, hey, stimulus checks were really the way out. I mean, honestly, 
Stimulus checks were the fastest and easiest way to get money into the peak, into the pockets of the people and get it out into the economy incredibly fast. We saw that from report after report after report. Last year, we saw this coming out so many times. Stimulus checks are incredibly effective. In other words, getting money out to the people very, very fast to stimulate the economy and ultimately alleviate some of the pain and some of the struggle across Americans. All right, so anyway, like I said, I could keep going on and on about this for a very long time. But let's bring Corey in right now. She'll read this article to you. I think it's going to be very interesting. I think you'll learn a lot from it. And then um, I'll catch you again later in the next video. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe down below. Share the video with your friends, family, social media. And of course, go back and check out any of the other nearly 2,100 videos right here on the channel. And of course, Corey will be coming back at the end of the video with the new list of shoutouts for the names that are pulled right out of the fan club. If you want to check that out, there's a link down below in the description, otherwise at the top of the comment section. All right, enough out of me. I promise this time. Corey, take it away, and I'll catch you again later in the next video. All right, Corey, it's all you. See ya. Decline in government spending could hurt many in 2022 by Emily Peck. This year might be a bit of a drag, Technically speaking, the explosive economic growth we saw in 2021 won't likely continue into 2022 because of fiscal drag, where there's less money from the federal government going out to regular folks. Why it matters. Less fiscal stimulus could mean less inflation, as Federal Chair Jerome Powell said Wednesday. But in human terms, government spending was a safety net for folks who couldn't work because of the pandemic or faced COVID-19 era changes and challenges. State of play. As much as 22% of Americans in personal income last year came from government benefits, including social security, stimulus checks, enhanced unemployment, insurance, and the child tax credits that ended in December. The federal government sent out more than $93 billion to families in the second half of the year through child tax credits. Going deeper, parents used the money for food, gasoline, and housing. It was a blessing, Jasmine Roberts, a 35-year-old mother of two in New Jersey, tells Axios. The money helped her put a deposit down in an apartment and avoid public transportation when COVID risk was high. It's worth noting, the pandemic challenges aren't over and the Omicron variants sent a lot of workers home sick. 15% of low-wage earners experienced an income loss in January, according to, according to new polling by Morning Consult. That's the highest it's been in the monthly survey since May of 2021. We zoom out. The U.S. economy boomed last year. The Commerce Department said that yesterday, the Q4 2021 GDP grew at a 6.9% annualized rate, the highest since 1984. The consensus expects the expectation for 2022 is 3.9%. But some, like Brookings economist Wendy Edelberg, expect slower growth. She predicts GDP growth of about 2.5% in 2022, in line with Goldman Sachs' 2.4% forecast. The overall economy will be fine and is improving, but really abrupt cutoffs and benefits is never a great policy. And if you top off the cutback in fiscal spending with aggressive rate increases from the Fed, we could cut short a promising recovery. What we're watching is that child poverty numbers are expected to spike this month, according to forecasts from the Columbia University Center on Poverty and Social Policy. On the other hand, wages are up and the job market is healthy. Folks still have savings from last year, and when they file taxes, they can claim more child tax credit money. But the bottom line is that the fiscal drag doesn't have to be such a drag, but a lot is riding on the pandemic subsiding. Our shout outs today are Brian Pappen, Denise M, Southern Bailey Bell, Karen Nelson, Kimberly Gonzalez, Ashley Stone, and Sandy Whitley. Thank you for being members of the fan club.